Now we're going to talk about how to use the Attributes tab. You'll notice that I've created a product called Event Box because it makes more sense to use attributes with the single item type of product than it does with the volume discount type. Because what attributes does is this. Here's a product that's a bouquet. And attributes will give us options in the product page. So there's color options, ribbon, color options. Here's a box for a card message that the customer can type in. And it also gives us a yes or no. So let's go back and look at it. You click the attributes tab. It'll give you the option to do product specific, global or hidden attributes. We're coming up with some neat things to do with global and hidden attributes, but don't use those right now because that's not ready. Product specific attributes will only apply to this particular product. So click add attribute and you'll be offered three different things. Plain field text gives us that drop down menu with just options. The text area gives us something for the customer to fill in, like for a card. And yes or no is a yes or no checkbox. So for plain field, if we want to offer the name of this attribute is color. And we want to give options, more than one option. So we're going to do multi-value. Pink, red, white. There are our options. Now you keep seeing this modifiers as we mouse over. You click on that. What this will do will allow you to charge a different price or enter a different weight for the pink option. And what this is based on is the price that you put in the info tab. So if pink is $5 extra, but it takes, it takes a pound off the weight or whatever, you have to use a plus and a minus in these boxes or it will not work. And then if you want pink to be the one that shows up on your product page when someone navigates to it, then click default option. Then your modifiers will show up. We click save changes and we go to the window that has the preview and refresh that. Now you see red, which we haven't put any modifiers on, is simply the price that we entered in the info tab. But pink ups the price $5. If we'd like to add a text area, we can name that card message and then make it editable by the customer. We save changes and look at that. We'll find that the customer can enter in whatever they want. And if we want to add a yes or no question, the attribute name needs to be the question that you want to ask. and click multi-value. That way, if no or yes modifies the price or the weight, 
you can put those in. Refreshing this gives us our checkbox. And you can, of course, add more than one of each of these. In my example over here, I've got a color option, a foliage option, a ribbon option. You can do as much as you need to.